A new Chinese model, Long Cat Flash Chat is here. But before you dismiss that this is just another Chinese model, I want you to listen to this. This is the most critical part of this model. As not all tokens are equal, we introduce the zero computation experts mechanism in MOE blocks. MOE stands for a mixture of experts to allocate a dynamic computation budget to important tokens based on their significance. That is activating 18.6 to 31.3 billion parameters out of 560 billion total based on contextual demands. To ensure consistent computational workload, we employ expert bias adjusted by a PID controller, maintaining an average of just 27 billion activated parameters per token. So this is a mixture of experts model, and this comes with a new kind of a effective computation utilization strategy, where for every given token, they have managed to achieve an efficiency of just 27 billion parameters that is activated. In the current realm of large language models, 27 billion parameter model is not a very large, but they have achieved this new strategy to use only 27 billion parameter active parameters at a given time for a given token using this whatever that they're calling as efficient computation utilization strategy. So now let's get back into the model. So this is a model coming from a company called Meituan. And now when you read about this company, this is not like your Alibaba's of the world, like not even like proper, let's say a tech company like a Microsoft or Google or Baidu. So this is a company that offers like delivery service. They've got grocery tech. I mean, I'm not trying to say they're not tech, but they're not like the fundamental foundation model company that like you would expect a foundation model from this kind of company. I mean, imagine how would it be like if you expect like Uber uh, launching a foundation model that beats all the other companies. It's quite surprising, like China is every day surprising us and this company, Meituan, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It, it literally means beautiful group reviews. That's the company name. And that company has released an MIT licensed model called Long Cat Flash Chat. I mean, it's, it's quite a mouthful to say Long Cat Flash Cat Flash Chat, almost like 560 billion parameter model. And another interesting thing is they've completed the 20 trillion tokens training of 560 billion parameter model, the pre-training only in only 30 days. Another very fascinating aspect because we have been hearing from large companies like OpenAI that it takes months to train their pre-train their base model, but this company has managed to do it in 30 days. That means we can probably see faster iterations of a lot of models. So if you want to chat with the model, you can go to WeChat and then chat, but I don't have WeChat here. But you can see that this new model is supposed to be a good model for a lot of different use cases. But the primary key feature, like I said, is the computational efficiency the model comes with and they've designed a model scaling strategy. So that technically means that they can further scale the model, like they can go up in the scaling laws. For those who do not know what is a scaling law, scaling law basically tells you that you have a bunch of levers that you can pull when it is a model. One is the data, one is compute, what is the size of the model? So let us say if you increase the data of the model, the model ideally should perform better. If you increase the size of the model, the model should ideally perform better. If you the, train the model for a longer period with more compute, the model should ideally be better. So this is in a nutshell a scaling law and this model is designed with scaling laws in mind. Like So effectively, efficiently scaling model size remains a challenge. And to end this, we have developed a comprehensive stability and scaling framework for robust large scale training um, and they have ap applied this for this model as well. And then finally, the most interesting thing is a multi-stage training pipeline for agentic capability. So this model is supposed to be good for agentic and coding related tasks. During mid-training, we enhance the reasoning and coding capability. So if you know the training process, you have got pre-training and you have got post-training. Pre-training is where the model accumulates the knowledge. Post-training is where the model learns how to use the knowledge, like alignment and uh, you know what kind of things it has to do. But they are saying like during mid-training, so they've got something here, mid-training, we enhance reasoning and coding capabilities while extending the context length to 128,000, 128K to meet agentic post-training requirements. We design a multi-agent synthesized framework that defines the task difficulty across three axes, information processing, tool set complexity, and user interaction using specialized controllers to generate complex tasks requiring iterative reasoning and environment interaction. So they've got a system, a framework that defines the problem that the model would learn in the post training phase and then solve it and then improve. So this is like a narrow environment, which is quite hot at this particular point. And they have also released the tech report, the technical report that you can go read. A lot of interesting information there. 
but most importantly if you see the model is particularly good with coding related tasks terminal bench the model has scored 39.5 percent which is a lot higher than deep seek v3.1 and almost closer to cloud 4 sonnet like cloud 4 sonnet is 40.7 and this is 39.5 this benchmark evaluates how good the model can handle terminals the computer shell bash whatever you have got so we bench verified the model has scored 60.4 Honestly, this particular one surprised me because when a model is doing very good on, uh, let's say, terminal bench, I would expect naturally the model to be good with SWE bench verified. But in this case, the model is much below than, let's say, Kimi K2 for SWE bench verified. For a model to be uh, heavily optimized for coding and agentic tasks, then you have got agentic benchmarks like Pi2 bench and Vita bench, and the model is better than every other model that is available in that particular tier. Gemini 2.5 Flash, Claude 4 Sonnet. GPT 4.1, Kimi K2, Quen 3 MOE, and the DeepSeek V3.1. One thing that I've not seen them doing a lot is comparing it with any of the flagship models like Cloud 4 Opus or uh, GPT 5. They've not compared it with the flagship models. I think they decided to say that they are on the one level below the flagship. You have got the Flash model, you have got the Sonnet model. But I think either way, this is a great release. The, there is a technical paper that we can just go through and then learn more about the training process and a lot of other information. But also simply, this is a model that comes with MIT license and I can see that people might be taking a lot of learnings from this model and then start using this model. If you want to access the model, they have uh, created a website for you to just go access it. It's called longcat.chat and you can go to longcat.chat and then start chatting with the model to understand how good the model is. But overall, I think this is an excellent release from a company that is not very well known. And once again, another it again, Chinese open source model, and it should become an acronym at this particular point. Let me know what you think about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.